Hello my friends, my name is Dragonrock and welcome back to the Smite PDS overview for patch 3.21 I believe it was... yeah, yeah, it was 21 and obviously this thing... Uh, forget it, alright? We have a shit ton of things to talk about a shit ton of things like look at all these things! Look at that shit! Why there's so much shit? Iris, please! <clears throat> so, okay long story short, we are getting introduced to the new god Thaw, 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 Thaw Thoth, Thoth, I don't fucking know. Thief. He's a thief now, okay? He's he's no mage, he's a thief, okay? Uh, he's the so so called long range caster artillery mage. Artillery. Yes, artillery mage. So I'm actually quite excited for him because I really like his kit, so I'm gonna, I can't wait to try him out. We're also getting two new odyssey skins which is like the part of the odyssey which you can buy a war skin which is a little change which is kind of weird because they have first another name then it's this name we're gonna i'm gonna show it in a bit uh, uh we also got the baron frost child the mirror which is the reward for uh, like the next so to so, so speak milestone we're getting also the loot pack which is a return from last year so if you guys know if you guys have played since season two the new guys know that um, there was uh, pre last year there was loot pack which gave you the Zeus skin, uh, some other shit like another war I think it was a ward as well actually, uh, ward. Well, I'm gonna show. Yeah, this uh, this ward, the Zeus skin, and I think one or two divine chest rolls. I'm not sure. I don't remember really what they actually gave back then. Uh, I think it was uh, the pack was definitely cheaper. Because now we're getting a lot of things from 1,500 gems, which is literally three Odyssey skins, if you think about it, like the God skins. And, but we get way more, so... Oh god, this is going to be a long while, isn't it? Okay, so let's look first at Thoth uh, and his recolor from uh, this perspective, alright? Obviously, I'm going to go into, uh, into the game with him later. Um, so he looks really cool. Enemies have returned left. I really like him, and his recall looks amazing as well. It has the... I don't know, it's... I just really like it, it's so cool. I don't know which I like more, the original or the recolor. I like both of them. So, we are getting a lot of skins, as I said. We are getting... a oh, Tarasso skin, which is the SVC hero... Heroine... Heroine... Hero, I don't know how to pronounce it, pronounce it probably. Uh, the Capri skin, uh, the convention Capri 2017. So if you guys don't know, the convention skin comes out every year. Last year was Anubis. I don't remember who was before. I think no, was it here? Let me check. Was was it here 2015? Yeah, it was tier convention tier. Yeah, 2015. So last year it was Anubis, which oh yeah, he was part of the loot pack too. Uh, I, uh, the convention skin is kind of okay, but meh, could be better. Uh, we are getting well, yeah. Let's just check, okay? So we're getting the Heron as we see 2017 Amaterasu skin, which has which gets her own voice back, which is really cool. So she looks pretty fucking awesome. I did not actually uh, look at a lot of the skins because I missed part of the uh, patch notes. I literally just went on uh, to look at Thoth. This literally when I was uh, there. So we're getting. I'm a Tarasu, which is really cool. This skin is, um, looks amazing. With, his own, with her own voice back. The Apollo skin, I swear I'm gonna have nearly every single skin besides the Team Solomon because it's in our account. And otherwise, I would have all, all of them. So, this actually, this skin actually uh, receives the old voice back. And the funny thing is that if you cannot, if you guys can get Team Solomon Apollo, which is one of the coolest skins in the game, even though it's like, extremely old, super old, it was from beta. I remember when this game came out. That was so, so such a long time ago, and it's not always available. So this is literally like the re reskin of that, but still looks really cool. I really like the, uh, I really like him. Okay. Like the model looks uh, nice, 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 nice. That uh, we get the Heebie Chibi Hades. Which is play a game. If I win, your soul is mine. He looks so cartoonish. I swear it's funny. Chase the enemy. Retreat right Chibi lane. Hades. Oh god. Like here's the normal Hades. Chibi Hades. Hades. Why does it Hades? I don't know. But ruler of the universe. Yeah, he's gonna be the ruler of the universe. Alright, and then we also gonna look at the Capri Convention 2017, which Actually looks really nice. 
I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of Kepa because he's already a shit ton of skins. He has fucking two Valentine Days skins. A fucking Odyssey 2016, I think it's supposed to be 16, yeah, 2016. The Stool Scarab. These two, the fucking chef special, the shadow skin, a tier two, uh, it's just too much for Capri. Come on, but that that skin actually looks really nice. Um, what else do we get? I have to check here because I cannot remember all of them skins. This is how many skins came out. This is all the shit that came out. Uh, I'm obviously I'm gonna show. Oh, well, actually, yeah, let's go to wards for. I want. Uh, yeah, let's go to wards. I forgot where do you. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we can go like that. Alright, so this is the award skin you get for from the loot pack, which costs 1,500 gems, which is definitely worth it, guys. You should definitely buy it. This award looks really nice. It's way better than, I think it's kind of better than the last year one. Although they're both pretty cool. And um, this is the new ward we are getting from the, from the uh, Odyssey. Uh, originally it was supposed to be a Hellhound ward, now it's the demonic pack one. It's kind of cool, actually. I really like it because I, in general, like all the de demonic, like, theme skins or angel, like you know, like the angel demons. I like things like that. So yeah, the skin, the war skin looks nice. Um, knowing that they actually are raising the uh, cost of a lot of things, I'm guessing it's gonna be 300 or 350. I'm not sure actually. Let me check. Like a normal skin, uh, war skin costs 300, so it might be or 300 or 350, and I have a feeling it will be 350. I think I, at least I think yeah, it might be 350. It would be stupid, but I think it might be like that. Uh, we're also getting, which is ironically the Roman, the only Roman guardians who are literally right next to each other. They both getting uh, getting a skin. Hanus Sylvanas, something that the Smite uh, fandom want to, for a long time. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not, I'm not. I don't know if I will get that. I it's kind of cool. Same thing. It's weird. Uh, we are getting t Ignis Terra, which looks pretty fucking dope. I am pleased. Attack right lane. Be careful. Enemies so we have a fucking middle. female volcanic agony, I swear. Help right lane. And uh, Emir Baron Frostchild. Attack the gold fury. Enemy missing. How smashing! Going into the jungle. Good luck, dear. Enemies in right lane. Return to base. Set up an ambush here. Enemy missing. Wait, there. so we have now an assassin gentleman, which is Fenrir Lars Slashington, the third. Kukulkan, Ankhor, Nier. Now we only need, guys, all we need is a fifth skin. Hyrus, make it happen. We need now a fifth gentleman skin. Uh, who will be a good gentleman as a war from warrior? Let me check, actually. Warrior, warrior, warrior. There it is. Um... I'd, I'd say or Erlang Shen or maybe Tyr or maybe Herc. One of those three, I'd say. Oh no no, Vamana, Vamana, gentlemen. It was so fitting because he's like this t like a little guy, right? And some of the smallest guys are the biggest gentlemen. This was so ironic, to be honest. I would love to see that. Uh, but yeah, what else are we getting? Uh, I think that's that. Actually, I went through all the things like this. Oh. No, never mind. I just thought I'd remember something, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, let's go into practice mode and let's finally check out uh, the new god, Thoth. Now, I'm obviously gonna build a of Thoth on him, you know that. Oh. oh, yeah, the pedestal. Looks really nice. Is he floating on the pedestal? He's not standing on the pedestal, he's literally floating on it. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know if I would go actually. Oh, okay, I might actually check the. The recolor Let us in, in game this this might have a different effect. I might like. Uh, oh my god! Look at this fucking swag walk, guys. Okay, let's go level twenty. Oh, actually, no level. Oh, actually, yeah, level twenty because we gotta check the whole passive. This, uh, the passive is what's really interesting about him. All right, we're done. Now max out all the abilities. Uh, yeah. Uh, book, 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 book. That's about to get off. This, 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 uh, this, and uh, I'd say Soul Reaver. Well, look, this is the build which Hyrus recommends, but I honestly I would go for Shoes of Focus because I like. I mean, Shoes of Magia is very nice because they give you penetration, but I like the cooldowns. Plus, it gives you mana. 
So, I don't know. It, guys, it's your choice, really. Alright, let's check first the recall, because it's... Oh, this is cool. Look at the effect. This is also the thing you actually get from uh, the loot pack. So, let's see also... The fuck were those things? Oh, like, war okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's fun, actually. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, Thoth is a really unique mage, which we have not gotten in a long time in Smite in general, because... Holy shit, the range of this thing. Jesus. I thought it's gonna be, like, closer. But you can literally put it in... Oh my god. But yeah, Thought is a really unique mage compared to all the other ones. Because he's literally at long range. Like, only long range. For him to go cross combat, uh, like, let's say Scylla. Because she can like literally run around, stun second ability, get out, or knocks the same way, actually. Uh, it's not working for them. So... Mm, let's read his passive because his passive is really unique and really cool. So Thoth pens the name. Uh, well, okay, let's start with the name. Dead Reckoning. Thoth pens the names of his fallen opponents in this book, recording their weaknesses. After killing 30 enemies, Thoth gains a, a stack of four magical penetration. He unlocks a new stack every four levels, up to a maximum of five stacks at level 17. So, so basically, you have to kill. A lot of enemies for that shit. A lot. So, every 30 minion or in general kills will give you, like, they will rise up the stacks, which is really cool. So, that's actually, I don't think we'll be able to do that in this video because I'll have to grind for that shit and I wanna, because I'm lazy. But yeah, uh, his first ability is a, somewhat is, like, it's obviously his wave clean. So, what I was noted is because a lot of people might think the way the like, soul work we used to work like back in the days so this is not okay so the first ability gives you three charges which activates by basic attack but but it does not it's not counted as a basic attack so it won't proc on polynomicon or anything like that so you guys out there who th who thinks it's a nice idea to put polynomicon can it's not okay you might build it just for funsies but yeah it's the same thing like, as I saw fucking Agni build one this Polynomicon and Conquest, and he said it was good. I don't know what's wrong with him. He, he was he was one of those guys who were like, yeah, I'm good and you guys are bad. So, one thing to notice, you cannot cancel this out, but but I think you do can use other abilities. Yeah, so here's the thing. You can literally let it up. It's not disappearing. It's literally going to be there forever. I, might, I think they might nerf that, actually. Again, I, or actually, it might be like Medusa. I think it might be like Medusa, yeah. So basically how this works, you got three charges and you send them all onto your enemies. This is your main way of wave cleaning, alright? So, yeah. So then we have the second ability, which is a dash, which is like Rama's dash. And then after a few seconds you can do this thing. So basically that's it. Jesus Christ, the fuck was that sound? Well, that's for the third ability. Damn. So basically, the, the dash is literally like Rama's dash, so it's the 8-way dash, which is pretty cool, because it gives him a little bit of mobility to get escape from team fights, but, but to actually stay in long range, right? To stay away from the enemies. This is, your, this is the thing, you have to stay away from the enemies, otherwise you can die. So, you basically dash, and then you shoot this the at your opponent, which actually has a really cool sound effect, and you slow them. So that's... Re a really good way to escape from uh, enemies. Let's just reset that shit quickly. Okay, and then we talk about. Let's talk about the third ability. The third ability is what makes him so strong and w such a lo good long range mage. So this glyphs gives you. Uh, I think I'm not sure if it gives you power or not. I think it also gives you a little bit of power. Wait, let's read. From his book, Thought Conjures Fourth Hieroglyph and Form Okay, so. The, this wall, or Glyph of Pain, gives you more, like, bigger range, and it gives you Empower Basic Attack. So, I just, uh, wait. Oh, that thing also procs Soul Reaver, that's pretty cool. So it has a really low cooldown, comparing, otherwise he will be dead. So, yeah, I guess this kind of works. So, as you see, here is my normal, okay, so let's see. Okay, so... This is my normal uh, first ability, right? This is the range of it. And when I use uh, on the glyph, through the glyph to be more precise, increases the range of that way more. And it also helps allies actually to do the same thing. So I think their basic attacks, yeah, allies basic attack projects have received a reduced damage bonus but no range increase. 
reduce receive a reduced damage bonus. Wait, what? From incoming or weird? So the range has increased, but the power of it increased. So let's check it again. So this is we get we have nine one hundred ninety eight from basic attacks. Let's put this. Your day of judgment is now. I'm not sure how this works. I honestly don't know. It's the same thing. It's just strong. It looks stronger. I'm I'm not sure. They reduce damage bonus, but no range increased. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm really confused about this one. I'll be honest. I'm not sure how this works. So, as I said, the third ability increases literally everything. So the dash, yep, that's as well. The slow ability, the slow shoot, shot, slow shot also increase. So that's what makes him really unique, but really cool. So it's not like Jason League of Legends who only works for himself, but obviously it has the similar mechanic of being like the wall, which gives him speed or like movement speed or the, the, the projectiles becoming stronger and wider. But this one also helps with your teammates, so which is really cool. And while Jason League of Legends is actually like a clo like a mix of close combat and long range, this guy is a pure long range mage. So let's check now his ultimate, which is called Final Judgment. So the thing you can do with that is you can literally cancel out any time you want. You see? It's not it's not going on cooldown because you're not getting CC immune. This is the bad thing about the thing, but even if you get cancelled out, the ultimate won't go on cooldown, which is really, really good. So he charges up uh, these symbols, as you see. One, two, three. So for each symbol, you kind of do like more, a little bit more damage. Uh, and if you charge it up to the end, it will do the highest damage. So let's see, like that. All right. So let's go from. All right. So it's one thousand five hundred nine. That's a lot of damage, actually. God damn. Let's just go for this. Reset the cooldown. All right. Let's reset that again. This does not want to reset. Okay. Oh, now you. Okay. Fuck you then. So yeah, let's now use just the one, and that's seven hundred fifty-five. So you can literally use. Uh, you can literally use like these, like the lower amount of symbols for a faster shot, right? So if someone is like extremely low HP, you can use it to finish them off. Otherwise, it's, I think it's uh, it's better if you actually charge it up to the end, of course, because you do the max like the max amount of damage. And of course, that's also procs with this thing. So look at the fucking range of that. Jesus, the range is crazy from that thing. This thing gives so much fucking range. Look at that! I touched him from here. Boom, boom, boom. I'm. This is so. With this thing, which is really cool about this guy, it allows you to get in such like a long range position, which is really nice. So I'm. I'm think. Mahara's videos. I think you had to upload upgrade the first ability and the third one to max, if I remember correctly. But I'm not sure. So I wonder. Wait, Sorry, Let's wait for Sorry to uh, reset the cooldowns. Now let's ult the full strike and boom! Jesus, it's a one shot. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Wait, that thing is. Oh, okay. So the kill already gives you a whole page. So if you kill it like in general, just minions, it gives you stacks up to thirty stacks, right? But if if you kill an enemy god, you get the whole stack in the very beginning. Yeah, that's actually really cool. It gives you a whole page already unlocked. That's really cool. Boom, boom, boom. So, that's nice to know. Okay, so... I, what, they don't mention that in the description of the passive. But that's, that's really nice to know. Now look at this. Whoop. And bam. More glyphs. <laughs> Your day of judgment is so yeah, now we have this thing maxed out, which is really cool. They don't mention that. That's the thing. They do not mention that. But guys, if you're watching this video, and I hope you actually, uh, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. But yeah, so you guys know, this actually gives you like a kill, gives you a whole page. At the start, so it gives that's actually really nice because it allows you to actually get the, the stacks faster, right? So obviously, we thought we will get we will focus on getting a lot of kills. So I'm guessing that like 
if I would describe as passive, it, it's kind of like a Shibalanka passive, but which can also be stacked from minions. So, you, you either get the kills, or you stack up from minions. So obviously that's a nice way, because you if you're already stacking, let's say, Book of Thought, which I will definitely be, because I don't know if I will be more Warlock Sash on him, I, think I, I, don't, I don't think I will. I think this was actually kind of nice on him. Maybe change uh, Shoes of Magi shoes to Shoes of Focus, so I... I because his cooldowns are, are pretty long for a mage who is supposed to only stay long range. Okay, look at this wag walk, I swear. This is awesome. But yeah, so let's li listen to the voice pack. But first, laugh spam. <laughs> Jesus, okay. How many books have I read in my lifetime? I can't really say. I am not dead yet. Ha! <laughs> I get it. The thing is, I think I heard his, uh, um, his voice actor. I, I might not be right, I might not be correct, but I think that's the same voice actor who voice acted Cooler in the TFS uh, abridged version of the, the Cooler movie, like the very first one. So let's listen to the voice commands, because I bought the voice back. Hi. May the scales favor you. Now throw the book at him! Now throw the book at him! <laughs> Fucking okay, Facebook. This is a, this is the guy's is the definition of Facebook. This guy invented Facebook. Woohoo! Woo Splendid. Splendid. You took a page right out of my book. Splendid. Come on, come on, come on. I wrote the book on victory. Your verdict: guilty. Your sentence: death. Damn. Your day of judgment is at hand. I love this guy already. I really like him. So, Facebook Live Beta. Oh, yeah, that's a new thing they're adding. Facebook Live Beta. Okay, then. Um, so, I don't think I'll go for the recolor because I'm, I highly doubt that they're changing the color of the effects because they already have like this weird color, coloring to that. So, yeah. So, geez, we have so many skins to go through. And obviously, I already took a long time from Thoth. So, I hope we can, I'm gonna make this really fast, alright? I think, oh. I think it was something else, which I want to see. Uh, no. I forgot, no. That was just my imagination. Okay, then. Let's go for Django Wax. Let's go for the Apollo skin, because that's the one I want, don't want to see the most, probably. Apollo. From all the other ones. Alright, so where is the... Okay, there he is. SVC 2017 hero. Me, 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 me. All right, so we are back here. Let's go level five. So, so let's see if they actually how much in. Okay, so the basic attacks are actually the same, which is a little bit disappointing. But you can literally see that's the skin. That's the skin from Team Solomon. They literally just recolored it. Harris. Well, yes, the color palette is nice, but you could at least change the fucking effects. Come on, make them uh, you. Uh, if they would at least make the shots blue, come on. Right. So yeah, all the abilities are literally unchanged. That's kind of mad. Right. So let's see. Yeah. Oh my God! They even took that one from Solomon. Okay, but they at least changed the ultimate. At least the ultimate has like the symbol from the. T it's my war championship. But yeah, this little this skin is literally unchanged at all. Well, yes, the color palette looks nice. High res. It literally just felt, it just feels something that you just made on fast hand. Like literally like, oh, we need a new, another skin to add up like, in the very end. Okay, let's do, let's just recolor the, an old skin and and put it in, in a pack for free. So, well, yes, I do like the color palette of that skin, but that's just, just, just no. Come on. It's sad. They don't change, they change any effect. Now is the time. Mjolnir. Oh, oh yeah, because the World Championship trophy is Mjolnir. Well, like, like there's the hammer. Okay, so let's see the abilities of. Ooh, her basic attacks look nice. It's like a legit sword, actually, not like a samurai. But what the fuck? Why does it has? Okay, that's a little weird. So this is, the, I believe, this is the speed one. I think the yellow one is the speed. Um, we have a clouds. Alright, let's go for. Ooh, has. 
That's, no, this is the power one, I, th I think, right? This is supposed to be the power one. Yeah, this is the power one, this is the speed. This is actually kind of cool, because this one has, like, uh, clouds. I think that's supposed to be, yeah, that's supposed to be clouds. Which actually, literally, like, kind of represents speed in a lot of ways. And, like, and this is the power, and this, the power looks really cool. Alright, so let's see the second ability. Ooh, look at that, from yellow to blue. Oh, this looks nice. Now this, now this thing got changed a lot. Jesus. Oh my God, is that actually this? What is this? Holy oh, shit! Let's see, wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go to our camp. Let's go to our camp. Uh, let's go to speed mode. Now let's kill off the little creeps. You know, let's see. Oh my god, this is the thing, look at that. Because I'm just gonna tank it, okay. So, you see that, you saw that, right? So, you, the, you actually leave, like, the passive, if you know, if, uh, you know the Amaterasu Pots, which reduces the protection, and it has, like, this aura around it, which shows it, that, which shows the fact that it changed the, uh, it can reduce the, the protection. And it literally smites, the my War Championship symbol on. That's, not got high rise. now that is a thing. Now that is a good thing. Why didn't you do that to Apollo? I have no idea. But this this thing looks amazing. Let's see, the third ability doesn't change much, but it has a really nice coloring to it. Now let's see the ultimate. Bam, bam, bam. Well, obviously it's, I don't think it would ever change that much, but it looks still nice. It still looks really nice. Alright, this skin is nice. This skin is really good. It even has. Her okay, yeah, I don't have it with that. <laughs> charge a lot <laughs> oh my god what do they call it championships ships can't become champions you don't stand a chance against my sword dance <laughs> <laughs> all right so now heart this is a well-made skin now that is a really well-made skin why didn't you do that same thing to apollo is beyond me i'm not working there i'm not working by high so I, I can't i don't know right but guys, if you would do the same thing for Apollo, that would be nice. You just love him, like, literally without any love. Now, guys, I'm not going to show the convention 2017 Kepler because he, he, this is, the convention skins are literally recolors. And they're really rare, that's true, they're really cool, but they're literally recolors, which look really nice. So I'm not going to go into a game mode with uh, Kepri, but we will go into, with the, uh, to Chibi Kiki. Okay, there we go, there it is. Hades. 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 I'm Hades. <laughs> Let's play a game. If I win, your soul is mine. <laughs> Let's play a game. If I win, your soul is mine. <laughs> Okay, that was creepy. She has this, the thing I like about the skin is it has so much cartoonish, like cartoonish effect. That's really cool. Right, so let's see the first ability. That's cool. All right, she's looking fucking cartoonish. Oh my god, this thing is so cartoonish. Oh my god, look at this. This is too funny. I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't think of Hades now seriously. Look at the old, like, wait, 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 yeah. Look at that, fucking cartoon ghost. Oh my god, Hades, what happened to you? You can, uh, you went from the ruler of the underworld to I'm ready to watch some kids shows. Like, seriously, he went from fucking... The immortals call uh, your mortal girlfriend called me daddy too. To I'm your be I'm your daughter's best friend. For something I don't know. I I am weird. Don't don't. I don't know what I'm saying. I can Fuck off. Fuck off. Bitch. <laughs> I ended up finding a soulmate, but she was just so persimony. Follow me to the underworld. We have cool people. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, let's let's Jesus, how long is this? How long has this been going? 
Already 30 minutes. Oh my god. Why, Harvest? Why do you make so many skins? Okay, let's go. We have three more skins, guys. We can do this. Am I right? Oh, am I? Am I, I am. I, I'm, I'm not right. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Terra. Terra. More like terror to you. The bit terror to you. What the hell? <laughs> I can bend metal and manipulate stone. Tell them to take their best shot. Well. All right. So Minions this skin looks pretty weird, but also pretty cool. So. We get the monolith now, which is now destructible for some reason, which is, okay. It's, it's, it's kinda, it is kinda stupid. Oh, look at this, like a lava geyser, geyser. This looks cool. Alright, let's see the second ability. Ooh. This looks really nice, let's see the ultimate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now this skin is pretty cool. Now this one I'll really like. Rise, magma, rise, okay. <laughs> I was lava before I was cool. You are not worthy of my time. This skin is really cool. I really like this skin actually. It's one of probably one of those I'm gonna get. Alright. Now guys, I'm sorry that I'm literally just rushing this, but I'm running out of time for this video. Because this this video has been already 30 minutes because we have too much shit that coming out. Yeah, amigos. Yeah, amigos. <laughs> It's Sylvanus! Uh, high Noon Sylvanus! I don't know why High Noon. Why High Noon though? Because of the card. This is literally because of the card. The trick to riding is some comfortable love. It's some good riding jacket. Thanks, Gloria, Nico. You know I appreciate you. Alright, so let's see. He throws dynamite! I don't know if that's racist or not. <laughs> He fucking throws dynamite! What the fuck? Okay, that's the root. Looks really nice. Wasp. Okay, the wasp doesn't change much. Although it has like petals, which is cool. Now let's see the pole. Oh, oh, actually, this one is already ca like came out, actually. Why does this look a little bit like a dick? In the oh, god, why does this look so disturbing? Has a nice effect to it, though. Let's see the ultimate. Hmm. Yeah, the skin is actually pretty cool. The skin is pretty cool, I'll be honest, but why does this shape is why does this shape look a dick in the beginning? <laughs> I swear. Okay. I'm sorry, as I said guys, I'm literally rushing this because we're running out of time. And I wanna I wanna cover everything. I wanna cover every single skin in this patch. Uh Emir, 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 yeah, Emir. We're on for us child. This is our fourth gentleman skin, that's so cool. I think I'm making a chest exclusive later on. I mean, it says already on all the skins exclusive, but I thought the rewards were supposed to be limited. Maybe this year not. Fuck it, really, that was a boom mu music note. <laughs> no. I have a voice pack on this account. No, I don't have a voice pack on him yet. I don't love this account, yeah. Can you see the second ability? Because the second ability does not change at all, actually. Oh, yeah, his, abil his abilities in general don't change. Only this fucking basic attack change. Wall, yeah, wall is even the same. Let's see the ultimate now. Ooh, music note! That's cool. Alright, that's the only thing we should change on it. Okay, so it, the effects don't change, which is kind of sad, but it still looks really nice. I like my enemies how uh, how Americans like their cappuccino. Weak. What the fuck? And of course, my family has a coat of arms. Doesn't every family? Two hats were hanging on a rack in the hallway. One hat said to the other, You stay here, I will go on ahead. Uh, call me stupid, but I don't get your joke. 
I don't get that joke. Call me super, super but I don't get that in your jokes. Woo! I think that was that. I think we covered all the skins. Okay, yeah, besides the uh, convention Capri and the recall of a thought, but I don't think they're gonna be changed a lot. The convention skills usually don't have any other uh, like any effects at all. They're just like skins, recolors. Just look really cool, and they are super rare and cost a lot. Uh, and yeah. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, this patch will be huge. I, I I'm scared of it. <laughs> Okay, so wait. So to the end of the Odyssey, we actually missed only two patches, which ironically one of one of the like the last patch will be shortly after my birthday. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to be my birthday. The one the one thing I'm still excited for is Hail to the King, Rod and Roll, and Chilling Grasp, because Hail to the King is literally just like the heavy metal tier skin, which is really cool, and Chilling Grasp because I like a wash and something about the cold, something about ice, which I really want to see. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this useful. Uh, as I said, the loot pack will be 1,500 gems. And the skins which are coming out, 500 of it, because that's the usual pricing of the Odyssey skins right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!